That's weird. It says somebody followed me, but the rest is just blank. Okay, we need to talk. We, we need to have a conversation. Something life-altering just happened to me. John Cena followed me on Twitter. And I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Did I... Sh should I say hi? I should say hi, shouldn't I? I should say hi. No, I probably sh I shouldn't say hi. I should just let it be. Put my phone away and not do anything. Don't overreact. I'm not overreact- You're overreacting! Obviously, I got some pent-up emotions about all this. And listen, therapy is just way too expensive. And with the whole social distancing, how would that even work? Would it be like over Skype? How, how would we do that? Oh, no. Therapy is out of the question. So the only way that I know how to <laughs> release my emotions is through the 2008 God Simulator game called Spore. I didn't expect that now, did you? These emotions gotta go somewhere. And they're not going to- <laughs> They're not going to the DMs. Now, to stop myself from DMing John Cena. That's a weird sentence. I mean, obviously, there's- There's only one way. There's only one logical way to stop myself. It is, of course, to create a digital clone of him. So that I can talk to him instead. I can't- I can't get through that sentence without smiling. You know what? That honestly does look like John Cena already. Just the head alone. Kinda looks like John Cena. Alright, John, let's get you some human thighs. I believe you got a pair of those. Now, I am purposely keeping this creature gray because if it would already be skin color then uh, this whole situation will become uh, like 10 times weirder than it already has to be trust me all right before things get a little bit too realistic we need something to censor up the bits the bits to pieces i'm not trying to get demonetized here all right there we go if this video wasn't weird enough already well now it is now it's definitely weird i definitely took it to the weird okay just Trust me on this, this <laughs> this was definitely needed. All right, let's quickly take a look with the skin color on. I mean, there we go. You know what? It's, I don't think it's too far off, honestly. I definitely think he needs some clothes. So hold up, let's, uh, let's see how this thing works. John, that's a really weirdly cut shirt. Why, why does it... Why does it stop there? Why did the weird fashion statement? But okay then. Just FYI, I have never felt this uncomfortable making a video before. I mean, what if he sees this? What what if he sees this? What am I doing? Why am I sculpting John Cena's pecs? What, what, what if me and John were like destined to become best friends and I'm just completely ruining that destiny right now? He's just gonna think I'm a little weirdo. Well, I am. I hope you can love me anyways, John. All right, so it's time to start working on the abs, but I, I, I don't want to remove this leaf. So let's just, oh, oh, it's just flashed. I don't like that it flashed. Don't do that. Don't do that. Let's just get you a little bit... You know what? This leaf isn't working out. I'll just have to do some um, editing magic to cover up the bits. The bits and pieces. All right, working on this guy in this color is just not working out. It's making me feel way too uncomfortable. There we go. We're working on the Hulk now. This feels better. All right, I don't think that I can continue working on this little project until I actually put on some freaking pants on this guy. Come on, John. Put on some pants. Are people watching? I'm already having conversations with it. Oh, I'm losing my mind. See what you did, John? You know what? I don't think we're doing such a bad job. I definitely think we need to buff up the legs a little bit. He's definitely been skipping leg day. But other than that, I feel... Oh, God, I forgot that. Okay. Let's just fix, <laughs> fix that part up a little bit. There we go. You guys have no idea how hard I'm trying to not make this weird. But I believe no matter what, this is going to be an extremely weird video. All right, so let's take a look at what we got here. I, I don't think that we are too far off, honestly. I mean, we got the muscular head right there. And we were lucky that it kind of looks like John Cena already. Although we do need to make some adjustments. Now, I do feel like the ears are just a little bit too small. So let's uh, add some humanoid ears right there. Oh, you know what? That already looks a lot better. There we go. All right, I'm gonna see if we can actually do the hair as well. All right, let's see. Did we nail it? Did we nail it? Come on, man. Ah, uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess sort of. You know what? Let's, uh, let's try the soft detail fur instead. All right, so there we got John Cena looking all John Cena-like and stuff. Hold up. Wait a minute. John, if you're watching this, I apologize for what I'm about to do. TikTok dance. Gangnam style. Dancing towards Work. Yep, there we go. Okay. <laughs> the animations are working as intended. Nothing wrong here at all. Well, anyway, this video just got a whole lot weirder. Now, before I get demonetized, let's move on over to the second idea that I had. Now, listen. Mr. Cena has had quite the impressive career. He has played everything from Peacemaker to Fred's dad. Hey, it's Fred! <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, I want to see if we can remake some of the characters that John Cena has played in movies, starting with the one and only Peacemaker. All right, so there we go. We got the first part of Peacemaker's costume, which is the cargo pants. You know what? I actually really like how those pants came out. Not too shabby at all. Oh, and the game thinks that this is Justin Timberlake. Ah, I hate that bug. I hate that bug. All right, so I have this bug with my game that pretty much names all of my creatures Justin Timberlake. I don't know how to fix it, and I don't really care enough to try to find out. But it is starting to get really annoying how I can't even rename my creatures. All right, I mean, so far it's looking pretty good. All right, now we need to add the gloves. Now, I have no idea how I'm actually gonna be making these gloves. This is pretty much all just trial and error. Now, I have no idea how we're actually going to do the fingers of the gloves. There's no way to actually turn them blue. Now, they are actually blue here in the editor, but once you go into the paint mode, it just turns to the normal skin color. So we need to be a little bit creative here. What if, what if we make these hands really small? Stay with me here. Now, I can't even draw hands on a piece of paper, so this is going to be a real difficult task indeed. Like, how, how big are fingers even supposed to be? All right, there we go. I finished the fingers, and they look all types of messed up. Oh, no. Okay, they look completely broken. But listen, this is Peacemaker we're talking about here. We don't know. I mean, he may have just broken his fingers. We don't know. This is not my fault. Now, the benefit of doing the fingers individually like that is that we are actually going to be able to sculpt them. So if we want to add a gun, for example, oh, by the way, we do have a lot of choices when it comes to guns here. Right, so when we eventually do add a gun, we're going to be able to wrap the fingers around the handle and the trigger. So that's going to look really cool. All right, so now for the upper part. Now, the upper part of his costume is actually pretty skin tight. So I was actually just considering just removing these parts and replacing them with the colored versions. Now, you don't actually see the color of these parts until you go to the paint mode. And there you have it. It's orange? Wait a minute. I, I, I'm pretty sure I placed red. Why is that orange? I placed red. This is red. And now it's orange. Okay, I may be colorblind, but I'm pretty sure that that's orange right there. Alright, change of plan. Let's uh, go for this red color right here. Alright, there we go. Okay, that's definitely a red color right there. Alright, then we just go ahead and replace all of these parts right here with the colored version. Alright, let's see how that looks. Alright, just like that. There we go. Now we just need to do the rest of it. Alright, so let's take a quick little look at what we got here. You know you know what? I, I believe we are so close to being finished. So there we go. We got... Oop, oop, missed the spot. Missed the spot. Why do I keep on missing the... You know what? I think it's actually a good sign that I keep on missing the backsides of it. It just means that I'm not paying too much attention of it. Or maybe that's just what I want you guys to think. I will say before it's painted, it looks a lot like John Cena. But I think the paint job just really messes it up. All right. I mean, it doesn't look horrible. Now for arguably the most important part of Peacemaker, it's guns. And I ain't talking about those guns. Puppies? <laughs> I don't... Puppies? Ah, uh, this is weird. This is a weird situation to be in. Alright, I am kind of eyeing this gun right here. The Diplomat. I don't know a lot about guns, but that looks like a big gun. I believe that could definitely be a gun that Peacemaker would grab. Now, I definitely think that he should be dual wielding these pistols. I mean, we could if we want. We could remove one, but I don't want to. I want him to be dual wielding these pistols. Alright, now here comes the difficult part to actually sculpt the hand so it's wrapping around the gun gun. Oh, man. Oh, I completely pictured. Look at that hand. Oh, no. I am sorry. There we go. Okay. You know what? That's good enough. I believe that's definitely good enough, right? Yeah, that's that's good enough. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. No, bigger. He likes his big guns. Big guns. Biggest of guns. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized something. Oh, the gun is gonna be painted like the skin. Oh, that's not good. Oh, great. He has <laughs> he got a pair of pink pistols. I'm not sure if that's on brand, but you know what? It's the best we can do. Listen, guys, it's 2021. It's okay for a man to experiment with a different colored gun. It's completely acceptable. I, for one, support the pink guns. All right, now for Peacemaker's helmet. Let's see here. His helmet is definitely an interesting one. I have no idea how I'm going to make it. All right, so I guess we're just going to be using these gray parts right here to sculpt the helmet. All right, you know what? I don't think that is too bad at all. I mean, keep in mind, we made this in spores, so it's definitely not going to be perfect for, I mean, we got the pink guns. But I mean, for Spore, I definitely think we did a pretty good job. Alright, well, I gotta say, I do believe that Peacemaker is indeed finished.
list. All right, so I do believe we got time for one more character. All right, so I loaded up the basic John Cena <laughs> character again. I just love the fact that it's now just available here in my Sporepedia. At any point during my Spore games, John Cena, a, a pack of John Cenas can just show up. And I just, I just love that. Now we can't forget John Cena's most memorable part. That, of course, being the character of Mr. Figglehorn, aka Fred's dad. <laughs> I am sure John is very happy about the fact that he followed me on Twitter and doesn't regret it at all. One eternity later. All right, I never thought I would say this sentence, but I'm having real issues finding pictures of John Cena's feet. That's an actual issue that I'm having today. Okay, well, first off, I need to find a new job. Second off, I guess I'm just gonna have to guesswork what kind of feet wear he wears. All right, there we got Mr. Figglehorn. Look at all his spiffy. I mean, those shoes are a total travesty. I apologize. Apologize to sneakerheads all over the world. All right, so let's quickly recap and take a look at the creatures that we have made here today. We got this nice looking planet over here. Let's move on over to the shore right here. Now let's grab all of these John Cena's and we're gonna need a captain to view all of these guys. So let's go ahead and choose Spider-Man because why not? This is four. I mean, the world is our oyster. If we can play as anybody, I mean, I'm gonna play as Spider-Man. All right, so let's drag and drop these guys. We got John Cena over here looking all buff and all ready to wrestle we got the one and only peacemaker looking all intimidating with his pink guns John Cena's howling. Okay, guess he's preparing for a new role. And then last but not least, we got Mr. Figglehorn. I mean, I mean, come on, guys. Come on. Hello, John. How you doing? You seem happy. You seem very pleased right here. This is a good... Okay, you're leaving. All right, good, good, good talk. All right, these guys are acting kind of strange. I don't know about this. Guys, you're supposed to be my replacement for messaging John Cena on Twitter. I'm not sure if this is working out, guys. This feels like more of a one-sided relationship here. I, I might as well just message John Cena on Twitter. There is one thing that we need to check out. You see, we can make epics in this game. So let's see just how epic John Cena is. There we go. Let's drop all of them in there. Oh man, look at, just look at how epic that looks coming through the trees and seeing three gigantic John Cenas in the distance. Why are they not moving? I gotta say, I don't really feel like making fun of the pink gun anymore now that he is that size. I mean, he was big before, but now he's like big, big. Oh, by the way, if you like the Spider-Man, the link for that video will be in the description. Now, how many John Cena's can we fit in one spot? Nothing to see here, just a bunch of John Cena's. What if we make the John Cena's attack each other? So we place all of them in different teams, put them all on aggressive, and then I guess we just see who wins. All right, I'm putting my health to infinity because, I mean, we got like 50 epic John Cena's here about to go to war. Yeah, I don't, I think we're gonna need the infinite health. I'm not really sure what's happening over there. These guys are bobbing their heads. There's something happening to that guy over there in the distance. I'm not really sure if that was well, what I intended. And then we got the head bobs of all the figgle horns. Where's the war I was promised? Hello? Alright, it seems like our issue was that we made them too big. I put the John Cena's in teams of six. Now let's see who the most powerful John Cena is. Oh, they shoot fireballs! Well, this peacemaker seems to be very interested in Spider-Man. I don't know, maybe there's a crossover there uh, about to happen. Uh, DC versus Marvel, who knows? I just realized how insensitive it is of me to choose Spider-Man as my captain. Oh, look at that! Five of the peacemakers actually survived and killed the rest of the John Cena's. And now they're all very angry at me for some reason. Leave Spider-Man alone! Oh, this is not great. Okay, well, uh, I'm just gonna go this way now. Just gonna go through you. Yep, th there we go. This is fine. Nothing abnormal happening here. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's little weird video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did, and I will see all of your beautiful faces in the next weird little video we come up with. Have a good one, guys.